Hello everyone, this is Shalu Kumar again from OSCE Nurse Training Cambridge. Uh, I'm an experienced OSCE Nurse Trainer for the NMC OSCE exam in UK and also the lead trainer for OSCE Nurse Training Cambridge. Uh, so I'm back with another video for you as promised. So uh, I hope you like my videos and if you do like, please pr press the like button now and subscribe to my channel. Um, so yes, in today's video, uh, we will be talking about uh, one of your clinical skills. I've already done a video on this before but uh, some of the documentation has changed and I am going to show you a, another scenario. So it's the same station so we're going to be talking about a nutritional assessment clinical skill okay. So this is your clinical skill station the nutritional assessment and I will be showing you a different scenario this time uh, and also uh, uh, one new document which NMC has published and the test centers are using that for this station now okay. So we're going to go through that today. So it's a revised video okay uh, so let's get started uh, so let's just recap eh? if you haven't seen my first video on this clinical skill which is nutritional assessment please go ahead and watch that first uh, I have added the uh, link of this video to the description of this video below um, uh, and then to just recap eh, as a refresher it's a eight minute station is counted as clinical skill in your uh, NMC OSCE exam okay so it's one of the clinical skills for adult NMC OSCE and uh, it is that you need to work out uh, a patient nutritional assessment okay so you will be given a scenario so it's a half written half verbal station so you will be given a written scenario you will have to read the scenario uh, and then you will be given a BMI chart which is body mass index chart weight loss chart if you require it you may not require it and they may not give you this um, and then you will be given all that and then you need to correctly calculate um, uh, the step one which is a body mass index step two is a weight loss score and the step three is uh, your um, you know acute disease effect so you need to actually calculate all those three correctly then you're going to need to complete the documentation correctly which I'm going to show you the new document and then you are going to verbalize your findings to your examiner so that's why it's half verbal and half written okay uh, so on the next screen so you uh, how do we do malnutrition risk assessment on somebody or nutritional assessment so we we work out the malnutrition universal screening tool and how do we work that out so there are three steps to a step one is always calculating the body mass index so body mass index depend on the uh, current weight and height and it will be given in the scenario so you need to uh, work out the BMI uh, from your height and weight in the scenario and using the BMI chart. Step two is work out the weight loss score. Uh, so weight loss score is uh, how much weight your patient has lost in last three to six months. So read your scenario. Um, so you will be given um, initial weight and uh, the previous weight and the present weight and you can work out uh, that way or you could be just given percentage okay how much percent of the weight loss your patient had in the scenario so in that case you just simple you can work it from there so you need to do the weight loss uh, score so in my other video for uh, my nutrition risk uh, assessment, which I've already done one video, which I told you the link for that video is attached to the description of this video. So in that video, I show you how to work out the weight loss percentage uh, from a scenario if you are given the previous weight and present weight. Uh, and then you can work out the difference in weight in kilos and use that number to look at the weight loss chart to work out your percentage. But in today's scenario, uh, uh, I am going to show you when the percentage is already given because that's happening quite a lot now that they don't give you the weight loss chart. They just tell you the percentage already worked out for you in the scenario. And then from that percentage, you still need to score the patient, okay? So I'm going to be using that method in this scenario, but I have shown you the other method to work out the percentage weight loss in my previous video. So go ahead and watch that one because your scenario could be that they give you uh, the previous weight and present weight but in this scenario we're just going to look at completely they given us the 
percentage weight loss and step number three is then you are going to read the scenario and see if your patient is somebody uh, who is acutely ill and is not uh, had any nutritional intake for more than five days in the past or likely to have no nutritional intake for more than five days in in future okay so that's what the acute disease effect is so that's just the recap of how the malnutrition universal screening tool works okay so there are three steps and you need to work out all three steps correctly from your scenario so today we're gonna so then what you will be given in your exam a scenario as you can see on the screen there is a scenario there and then on the next screen you will be uh, given a document and that is the new document i was talking about so he asked for your patient name address date of birth date time uh, score for step one score for step two score for step three overall score and then the last column you add your signature and initial so that's what you need to complete in your exam so that's what is needed as document to be completed okay rest you're just working out reading the scenario and working out but this is the document you need to complete um, and then uh, on next screen so you will be given the BMI chart and then you may be given weight loss chart you may not be given weight loss chart if they already telling you as I have circled a on your weight loss chart if they already told you the percentage weight loss as the percentage then you don't need the chart okay so then you just need to know what's the score for that percentage weight loss okay so you may be given the chart you may not be given the chart so it will become a little bit more clear when I take you through the scenario so we're going to look at the scenario and we're going to work this scenario together and work out uh, the scores and uh, complete our documentation then we will go through what we're going to verbalize to our examiner right let's look at that then so we're going to look at the scenario first now we're going to go back to the scenario and read it so again this is as a disclaimer this is a purely for a teaching purpose this does not belong to a real patient so mrs smith uh, Irene Smith is a, a 80 year old lady admitted to hospital for assessment of uh, her bowel uh, problems okay so she's been having bowel problems and she's been admitted to hospital for her bowel problems her current weight is 61 kilogram and she's about 180 tall so that's my height and weight for my BMI next is she has lost more than 10 percent so they've given me the percentage weight loss so she has lost more than 10 percent of her body weight in last three months uh, next is she has been vomiting frequently and has not eaten for more than five days okay so that's what our scenario is so how do we apply our step one two and three to this scenario so let's go ahead and do step one so step one is let's work out the body mass index so we know her uh, current weight is 61 kilo we know her height is uh, 1.80 uh, so as you can see i put it on the screen for you the bmi chart with height and uh, uh, high, height of 1.880 meters and weight of 61 kilogram the BMI works out to 19 so that's the BMI but we that's the, what the body mass index is but on the document we need to put the score not the BMI so if the BMI is 19 the score is 1 as you can see your chart is telling you uh, red is 2 uh, yellow is 1 and then green is 0 so it's one uh, so that's uh, so that's our score for bmi next we're going to do step two uh, step two now is the weight loss score so in this case they have already told us the percentage weight loss so they are not going to give us a chart to help with this now because we don't need the chart the chart is to work out uh, the percentage but if they already given you the percentage uh, then you don't need the chart and you will not be given the chart. So how do we work now out 10% weight loss? What is the score for weight loss? So I have shown you uh, these three boxes. Uh, so on there, they are part of the malnutrition universal screening tool, but they are not given in the exam for you. So you need to 
remember this you need to learn this information so if you look at step two uh, weight lo loss score uh, works on the percentage weight loss so if somebody has less than five percent score is zero if somebody had between five to ten percent of weight loss then the score is one more than 10 percent score is two so our scenario says the score is more than 10 percent so the score for the weight loss is too. So this is something you need to remember, you need to learn because this will, this information will not be given in your exam, these guidelines. So they're part of the must tool, but they are not given in exam. So make sure you learn it from here or from your must tool. Okay. But do you, do you do need to remember this? Okay. Uh, so we worked out the weight loss score. We did not need the chart and we will not be given the chart in this case because we can work, they already given us the percentage weight loss. Now we're going to go to step three. So what is step three? Step three is acute disease effect. So I've already told you this applies to a patient if they have been, if the patient have been not having any nutritional intake uh, in for more than five days in the past or likely to have no nutritional intake going forward in future more than five days. Okay. So that's the actual thing. So uh, we will read our scenario and apply that. So you do really need to remember this as well. What is the actually definition of acute disease effect? So you should know that. Uh, so let's look at our scenario. So our patient, she has been vomiting frequently and she's got bowel problems and she has been vomiting frequently and has not eaten for more than five days. So it's very, very clear in this case that the acute disease effect applies to this scenario because it very clearly says that she has not eaten um, uh, for more than five days. So it's clear. So if the acute disease effect applies, the score will be two. If it doesn't apply, score is zero. There is no in between. Okay. So it sees a zero. If the score, if the acute disease effect does not apply to your scenario, score is zero. If it does apply, like in this case, then the score is two. So our acute disease effect score is two. Now we're going to go ahead and complete our documentation. Now lots of fails happen on this. So just be very careful how you complete it. So you is simple, but just be careful. Okay. So you add your name from the scenario patient name. So it's not your name, it's the patient name, uh, their address, their date of birth. It will be given in the scenario, so you can add that from there. And then uh, you are going to um, add the date, that would be your exam date. So add that, then add the time we given in your scenario, then we're going to write for the step one. So that is the BMI score. So our BMI score, our BMI was 19, but our score for the BMI was 1. So we're going to add that. Uh, step number 2, percentage weight loss. So we scored the patient 2 because they had more than 10% weight loss. So the score is 2. Less than 5%, 0. Between 5 to 10%, 1. And our patient had more than 10%. So the score is 2. And then acute disease effect, it did apply to our patient and the score is 2 again. So the overall total score is 5 and then you add your signature and you add your initial. So that's how you need to complete the document correctly. So once you have completed the document correctly, then we are going to um, verbalize it. So we're going to verbalize uh, our actions and what we our findings to our examiner. So so you will what would you you can see the marking criteria on the screen. So these are the verbalization points. The first five are the documentation. Obviously, you come working out and documenting, and after that, uh, everything highlighted in a different color. Then that is again your verbalization point. So the verbalize the score. So you will say, my I have done my assessment on Mrs. Smith examiner, and my score is. Uh, for BMI score is 1, uh, for weight loss score is 2 and uh, acute disease effect score is 2 as well. So total score is 5. 
okay uh, then i will verbalize that i will refer my patient to dietitian straight away uh, and then i will uh, verbalize that i will propose a plan uh, to improve nutritional intake uh, uh, by taking the guidance from the medical team as well depending on what patient is allowed to eat not allowed to eat because she, as we know she's got bowel um, problems okay so we're going to work as a team and devise a nutritional uh, intake improve her nutritional intake um, because the patient is hosp in hospital so this is a hospital scenario so we'll repeat the malnutrition universal screening tool which is a nutritional assessment tool again in one week time okay and i will say that i will document all my patient oral intake on the chart uh, next thing is i will consider possible underlying causes uh, for the reduced in uh, for for the uh, risk of malnutrition and i will explore the the food choices with the patient and if my patient needs assistance with uh, feeding then I will provide that assistance so that is your action points and that's what you need to verbalize okay so I hope it makes sense now with the new documentation and I hope you like this video uh, so the top tips are um, not many just the first one is uh, make sure you know your new document you know how to complete a uh, second one is practice doing different scenarios and then uh, work out your uh, step one step two and step three correctly so those are my top tips and the timer is eight minutes so it's quite tight on time so make sure you can practice with the timer so you can do it in your exam i hope you like the video if you do like the video please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel you can also visit us on oskinus training uh, dot com and also email us for oskinus any inquiries email us on oskinus training at outlook.com i will soon be back with another video for you bye for now